G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with some little extra news on the Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age re-release for the Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch. Now this is coming out on the 30th of April 2019, but recently there was pre-orders enabled, and with this Square Enix did release some new news about some new features on these versions of the game. Now I don't know whether these are going to be applied to the PS4 and the PC version via patch, but I really hope they do. So the biggest new feature announced is that there is a license reset function. So the official line reads, by talking to Clan Centurion's leader Mont Blanc in Rabinastra, players can reset and change their party members' jobs, allowing them to customize the jobs of their party as desired. Now this is an absolutely huge feature because if you played Final Fantasy 12 at all you realize that sometimes when you choose some skills on the license board which is essentially your uh, your talent tree or your job 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 tree I guess once you've chosen some skills it'll actually completely lock you out from other skills or prevent you from using certain weapons and things like that so the ability to go back and kind of start a new slate or wipe the slate clean and go again is a huge huge quality of life and game improvement I really really hope these get added to the PS4 and the PC version because they are it will make this pretty much the definitive version of the game so another feature added is that there will be additional gambit sets and the official line reads gambits allow players to customize their party's AIs. Players can now create three unique sets allowing players to switch between sets from different situations such as map exploration or boss fights. Again another quality of life change that will make this version heads above. The other improvement added here is that there is an improved New Game Plus, and this allows users to start the game with party members at level 90 and carry over some items like weapons, magic, and gill obtained during previous playthroughs. So this can give you a, um, a bit of a head start if you want to go back and get at some trophies or some achievements that you missed out on your first playthrough. And then there is a feature that is specific to the Xbox One X, and that is that it will support up to 60 FPS. But really, playing an old game that's remastered, uh, I really didn't have any problems with the frame rate during the my full PS4 playthrough. So um, maybe this is more for people that are, you know, more technically minded. But I really didn't feel the frame rate impacted that much. But it's nice to see that they are making small improvements. So again, this is going to be coming out for the Xbox One and the Switch on the 30th of April. I don't know whether these patches are going to be applied to the other systems, but I really hope they do because these are some pretty big changes. If you haven't played Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, then you should really, really pick these up. They are fantastic games. Or if you've only played the original release, the non-international version, then you should pick it up as well because there has been a lot of changes and it is just a... A fantastic game. I do have a full playthrough on the channel as well as various guides if you are going to pick this one up so make sure you check them out in the description or the links at the end of the video. Anyway guys if you are excited about this news then please leave a thumbs up if you get any comments or suggestions then leave them down below and if you haven't subscribed already then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Um, move.